Welcome everyone to another video uh, where today's topic is going to be some chemical demonstrations that I've done with dry ice that is solid carbon dioxide and it has definitely become um, one of my favorite demonstrations to do. Um, that's because it is a very versatile material that you can use for many, many different types of demonstrations, and it is a demonstration that almost anyone can do with the proper equipment, and the proper equipment isn't that complex. So unlike my last video with aluminum and iodine, where you would need a fume hood uh, to safely do the demonstration, this video you can get by with just a pair of gloves that will protect you from the cold of the dry ice. One of the first things that I did with dry ice was I made a cloud chamber with it. Now, sadly, we don't have any footage of this one um, because this was before I was actually planning to make a YouTube channel with all of these demonstrations that I've done. So, sorry about that. We don't have video footage of that demonstration. But, of course, people know what happens when you... Uh, put water on dry ice, but there's one thing you can do to get a larger effect from that water, and that is to have the water be boiling while you drop it on, because the effect comes from water vapor that is coming off of the water, and you can get more of it, it more water vapor, that is, by having the water be boiling while you are doing the demonstration, and this footage that I have isn't footage of me doing it in class, it's of me doing it after school one day, but hopefully you enjoy this footage. So that's great, but you can make it a lot better by adding one more ingredient, dish soap. And that dish soap uh, will cause bubbles to form as the dry ice sublimates, releasing CO2 gas. And you can get some really big bubbles from it, as you will see here. <laughs> oh, it's probably going to overflow. Sorry, Mr. Rich. Just take it outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually awesome, though. Oh, my phone is having a weird orientation problem thing again. Well, I'm not having a very good resolution of this, but... <laughs> it's like... It's like a verbal. <laughs> there we go.
it out of the classroom. There were a few minutes where it just kept bubbling away, but afterwards we discovered something new that had formed inside of the cooler. And that was that some of the bubbles had frozen and formed icy bubbles inside of the cooler. That is, bubbles made of ice. It was quite interesting uh, to look at. There's like some frozen bubbles here. Whoa. You can hear like these pops, and yeah. I was wondering what those were. They're and probably they were just air pockets, like when crystals are suddenly and, But look at this. Is it super cold? Yeah, see look, that's ice. It's a bubble yeah. made of ice. So someone just touched this here and realized this is actually hollow and the dryness has just evaporated from the middle of this. That's really cool. Now I had to try that demonstration again only on a larger scale and fortunately enough a friend was having a birthday party where the tradition at that birthday party is to fill his hot tub with bubbles and create a large amount of bubbles using the hot tub's bubbler function. And I decided, what if, while we do that, we also add some dry ice to get fog, bubbles, and all of that all at once, and this is what resulted. Well, it should be noted right. that at first we tried one piece of dry ice, then we dumped go. the rest. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at that. There it goes. You know what happens is... Oh, it's melt. Uh, it you can see... Yeah. Oh. Wow. Alright. Oh. Alright. It's going to dissolve into the water. Alright. Go on. Whoa. Okay, you can keep going. That is pretty cool. Oh, it's funny now. Each one is going to make its own stream. It's, it's actually water vapor. It's actually... I know, but it looks like a smoke. Yeah. I know. It's some crazy stuff. It's fun. <laughs> as you want. Okay. Uh, you probably like need one of them. Should I put it where should I put it in there? Or just put it right there. Oh careful that table will make it. Oh really? Okay. Alright. I've got to do this quickly. There it is. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, should we touch the fog? It's okay to touch the fog. Nice. Ooh, <laughs> very good, Axel. Okay. In this section, the lens did get fogged up. The next section of video is by someone else who was there, and their phone lens did get fogged up as well, so it's not super high quality. Also, they were filming in vertical. Oh my god. And you can see there's some larger bubbles starting to form up now. I Whoa. feel so cold here. And it's really bubbling up now, you can see. Here, stop it for a second and wipe off the lens and then... Pretty cool, huh, John? Yeah. Yeah.
are you videoing as well? Oh, I just did a little tiny bit. If you can send me some of the videos that you get. Bob, are the lights on inside this spot? But yeah, different pockets of that fog are coming up and as cold carbon dioxide rises through the water it creates more fog and <laughs> as you can see there are a lot of pretty large bubbles now falling over the oh. side. I did need to edit out a few of the voices and the faces in this video because I'm not sure if they want to be on YouTube but the dries kept bubbling away and creating some pretty big bubbles in the process. And this will take a few minutes, but it will really bubble up. Remember the movie The Thing? Are you still videoing? I'm always in the movie. is a really cool effect. I, I, I really, I really like it. Yeah. was so much fun that I really hope I can get a chance to do it again. Uh, seeing all that fog and drifting over all those bubbles like that was really cool and I want to try it again. So if anyone who's watching this lives in my area and has a hot tub that they'd be willing to let me do that in, please let me know because I'd like to do that again. One more demonstration that I did in class with this dry ice was I made a hoverboard with it, although I only have a very limited footage of that. Now it's time to see what concepts this can demonstrate. This can demonstrate many, many different concepts, and dry ice is generally one of the most versatile demonstrations because you can do so much with it. Uh, the first thing it can be used to demonstrate is intermolecular forces. That is the condensation of water vapor in the air uh, that forms the fog that you saw when I dropped boiling water onto it. The second thing it can be used to demonstrate in cases like the hoverboard and the bubbles is gas laws because the dryas is solid carbon dioxide. Uh, it will sublimate releasing CO2 gas and that CO2 gas will expand to a much larger volume than the original dry ice, uh, which can be used to demonstrate a number of gas law related concepts. Again, dry ice is a demonstration that you can do at home, but make sure you're wearing gloves when you handle it. It is 
less than negative 100 degrees Celsius, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but make sure you're being safe with it because it can cause some pretty serious burns if it touches your skin. So wear gloves and handle dry ice safely. This is the end of this video. Please consider subscribing and I hope you will enjoy future science demonstrations.